Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a long style vlog. Um, we finally thought out the outdoors just being harrowed by my boyfriend right now because it's ready to go and I'm so excited. But there's some other stuff I want to show you. So today we're going to be grooming Lily and giving her a bit of a makeover. Lily is my bay OTTB bear um, and she is a hot mess. So that should be fun. And we're going to be riding Maverick continuing his six week conditioning program, which I'm going to make separate series of videos on just that topic. And then I wanted to show you um, some exciting stuff with my jump course. Typically, I've made every piece of my jump course myself with the help of my boyfriend. We've done all the building, the painting and the assembling, uh, everything had the cups manufactured by a welder in the fall last year, right before winter, a lady that I know was tearing down her jump equipment shed because it was getting um, kind of gross and infested with mice and she didn't have anywhere for the jump equipment to go. So she made me this crazy trade. It was so insane. Um, so I acquired all these jumps and a lot of them need fixing up, but I thought that would be kind of a fun series like extreme jump makeover or, you know, fixing and repairing and repainting for people who don't necessarily want to or have the tools to completely build their own jump course but maybe have some old ones laying around they'd like to spruce up so i'm just gonna give you a quick view of that hang on i have to flip you around uh there's no judging allowed of my disastrous tack room i think we're gonna do a clean out my tack room um video i have a ton of gear yes i do i own quite a few horses and i've been collecting gear since i was like quite young um this is just a hot disaster. This is stuff I'm just using every day all the time. Um, but yeah, overall, we're just generally a big disaster in here. This is all stuff that I was using in lessons in the last two months, and it was coming in and on my trailer. So it's up on my sawhorses so the mice can't get it. But I couldn't box it up because some of it was damp and needed to dry. These are all the jumps that she gave me. The Mario Castle is one I built on my own. It's just in a windstorm this guy did a front flip off my jump trailer and into the box of the truck and broke a little bit so there's some white standards some blue standards my first like typical hunter wing standards this is actually my triple bar toothless jump which if you've watched any of my videos you have seen um it fell apart oh lord tragically and it's a funny story so and what what's funny is i actually had my boyfriend's brother who's a carpenter type guy help build this one and uh it's totally fallen apart but all the ones i've built over the years are still totally fine um the other piece he helped build was this one which is my really cool safari skinny uh, but it is crooked as well so kind of ironic and these are my sunset palm tree standards so those ones are mine toothless is mine and mario is mine but everything else in here uh other than the raw wood which is also purchased by me which i have a ton of you guys i need help i'm overwhelmed <laughs> oh lord okay so there's white wing standards blue standards sorry it's kind of chaos these red ones have little like four leaf clover you can just see right there sticking out I know it's not the best but this brick wall which is so awesome and it has these brick those are the standards that go with it so it makes like the wall and then there's holes for the cups so above the brick wall you can still have rails um a whole bunch of cavaletti it's all broken it was screwed together which I don't think I did a tutorial on how I built mine but I use carriage screws instead of just regular screws so that's why they're falling apart so I'm going to replace all the cross beams but the X's are in great shape and 4x4 is a hot commodity uh, when you are a DIY jump builder got a bunch of plywood these are all 4x4 I have some super exciting projects to do I just need time and it's very hard um, this is my gate that I got from her that's my Mario fill there but this is a cute little gate and it goes with a pair of standards that are for this is a roll top covered in astroturf. There's the four leaf clovers. So I'm going to repaint these to be like black, white, and green instead of rust red and green. 
And then these aqua ones, some of the standards are missing feet. And she's like, I'm not even sure if you're going to want them. And I'm like, are you kidding? There. I turned my phone light on a little so you could see a little better. This is the standard that goes with this gate, right? So cute. And here's more Cavaletti legs. Okay, this is like a little hunter style. It's like a bench. Like I'm pretty sure you could actually sit on it. That end's missing the foot. No problem. Fixing up other jumps takes way less time than building them from scratch. Those are my blue and white rails, which I actually kind of forgot about until I saw them yesterday. These rails are all the rails she gave me with her jumps. Now they're pretty rough cut and they weren't sanded or anything before being painted. Um, and they're not constant diameter or anything. So I still am very grateful for them and I'm going to be using them for ground rails and uh, kind of Cavaletti pole exercises because I don't like using my painted ones. This is like a plywood painted simulator. It's three pieces. You can only really see one to simulate a big open water. And then this is just a bunch of my raw lumber. Well, guy, I might just try to glue them and clamp them back together. Um, you can't really tell from that far that he's broken, but I was very upset when he took a dive. In my palm tree jump saw, I have a solution for this. These feet are only screwed onto a two by four and one of them kind of broke in a windstorm. Um, which, you know, you live, you learn. So my plan now is to screw a 4x4 four four down there, paint it black so you can't see it. See this one? It's wiggly. It's actually, will spin right around. So, no bueno, no bueno. But I do think these jumps are super cute. Poor toothless triple bar. Um, I'll fix you, buddy. But that is like the thing I'm most excited. I don't know if this is really exciting to anyone else because I guess if you're at a boarding barn and they supply you all the jumps, it doesn't really matter to you, but this is such a huge deal to me. Uh, I'm going to flip you back around and talk to you because, you know, you don't want to stare at my junk pile. Or maybe you do, but too bad. This is my dragon jump. And you see it in like my vlogmas from last year. So I'm actually so excited. The gray is the primer. It was originally going to be black and then I was running low on black and I found this big like that dark teal color you see just a bit up there. It's actually going to be all that color and gold. So this is the dragon's head. And that's going to be on one standard and back of the body will be on the other standard and then the body in the middle um it's a picture off pinterest i'm basically knocking it off and this plywood is a jump to rip off the mcclay aspca jump but make it for my coach's barn because my coaches are super awesome and uh i know not a lot of people have a lot of skills with building stuff so i would love to give them something nice ah, so now that that's all out of the way and we've had a chat I'm going to go get Lily, the hot mess mud monster. Hi, Flash. So, I guess without talking to you guys too, you don't really get to know my horses. And maybe that's why the engagement on my channel isn't so good. So I'm going to be trying some different stuff, but this is Flash. He's always interested in what's going on and always wants to be involved, standing at the gate watching. And this is Abby who to the untrained eye looks a lot like Flash. But there's only one Flash in there. But there's also only one Abby, oh so pretty. And that's little baby Molly, who you guys haven't seen in a bit. Look how big he is. Look how big you are. You're a baby monster. And this is Apollo and he says, what's going on? I'm the best, take me out. I wanna play. Apollo is the coolest horse. And I want to do more video. He's like the perfect like trick training and whatever horse. Um, <laughs> he's just so playful and so into everything and so cool. He was rescued well, brought down to auction as a weanling with four others. So there's five of them total. And apparently the story goes that the mares were so bad they didn't even make it on the trailer, which means unfortunately they were probably put down and an old cowboy used to board with brought them down and Apollo actually broke his leg I'm gonna do a segment on each horse and give you more details but um, he's totally sound now he had full fusion in the joint <laughs> hey Mooley oh he's a cute little baby this is why I don't get enough done hello because oh my god 
<laughs> Diamond just jumped over the hay bale to get over here and it was too dark and I don't think my camera was pointing the right way. You are ridiculous. You want to be a jumper? Look at, do you know what her nickname in the spring is? It's Palomado because you're disgusting. If anyone wants to, you know, send blue shampoo, <laughs> please help. Send it to uh, Diamond at the barn uh, over here, Canada. Thank you. It will put it to good use. Look, that tail is supposed to be white. Hello? And, and here's Boo. Everyone likes to come to the gate, which is great. It makes me feel good when the horses want to interact with me because I must be doing something right. And there's Lily down there at the bottom. That's Nikki. <laughs> Lily's the one behind her, like cribbing on the fence. So let's go get ourselves a hot mess, everybody. Oh, this is what I mean about Flash. I just came through this door right behind me. And boom, there's Boo and Flash. The, the crowd of horses that are like, take me with you, I wanna do stuff. And Diamond is actually joining these ranks, looking over Boo, like, hello. These horses are nothing, I'm the best. Take me, thank you. And there's Mavham. Um, don't worry, it's bright and sunny out, but the horses aren't sweating under the blankets. I check them frequently. This is just a sheet, and they are clipped, so nobody freak out. And this is muddy down here, and this is Booper the other fall. Oh, look how big he is. What happened? Where'd my baby horse go? Where'd my baby horse go? He gone. Now I got a big horse. Oh, he's so handsome, though. Oh, my goodness. There's Flash saying, who? Who's handsome, me? Who are you talking to? Oh, so muddy. Oh, there's Mooley. Sunning himself. All right, people. Somebody rolled here. This is a horse print. This is Lily the Philly. Hi, Lily Philly. Would you like a bit of a mare spa day? What do you think of that? Yeah? This sure is mucky. Ugh. Like, compared to Diamond, you're not really that hot of a mess anymore. Right? You're a little crumb, a little crunchy. Okay, everybody. We got a lily. Right here. Ah. Okay, so the quick story about Lily, aka the not full video version, is that she's like the only horse on property I bought with my heart instead of my head. Um, I went to go look at her and everything was wrong on the sale. Uh, usually you don't want someone who's gotten the horse already. You don't want the horse to be wet or handled or groomed or anything because that usually means they've worked the crap out of them and then hose them off and bathe them to hide it. When I got there, they were like, <laughs> hi everybody. They were like, oh yeah, she's just freshly bathed and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh yeah. Like red flag, major red flag. If I had gone and been looking with someone less experienced, I would have been like, nope. Um, she was kept in a stall with not enough food and she didn't even have any bedding in her stall. It was like crusher rock. Sorry, abrupt ending. The property owners are doing some work <laughs> for like the first time ever. Usually I'm totally alone out here and I'm still like kind of awkward with the camera, so. Whoops. Anyway, she was kept in a stall, not enough food, rampant with ulcers, no bedding. Um, and the reason I know she had no bedding is because she's a weaver and a cribber. She doesn't weave when she's turned out in the group, which she's always is. <laughs> Excuse me. Starving horse that has hay all the time. <sighs> so she would weave in her stall and wear her shoes right off. And she had worn her front feet like right down. And they had bred her and she was like a body scarf too. Her hip bones were sticking up, her ribs were out and they bred her to make her more valuable to sell. Um, and I knew when I saw her with everything wrong with the sale, I rode her, she trotted like a sewing machine, like tick, 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 instead of like actually striding out. And I was like, oh my gosh, like this is a disaster. And I wouldn't have bought her as a riding prospect, that's for sure. Um, but I bought her with my heart. That's not a good business decision, but I don't really regret it. She is super smart, quick as a whip, um, however, Every time I try to prep her 
for show season, which she's been prepped like three times now, entered into shows, or two times, I guess. Um, then she hurts herself. So the first year was like abscesses in her feet because of the weaving on the bedding, or the lack of bedding, the rock. And then the second time, she impaled herself. I pulled like an eight inch piece of wood out and it hit the bone and split in two. And yeah, like it was bad. Normally she's weaving like crazy, really fast. And I'm so surprised she hasn't yet. I don't know if my last clip was recording, um, but she basically stood here while I got my treat pouch and my clicker and I had nothing organized. Cause you know, welcome to my life. Not every horse I have to own has to show. Don't get me wrong. But I think it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing for horses to handle different environments and do things. And if anything ever happens to me, I want them to be easy to sell, to find great homes. Um, and an unbroke, like, older horse or a horse with a bunch of quirks and vices is not easy to sell. So, so thrilled, you guys. You have no idea. If I had been better about documenting, you would have been following my journey. I do have old footage, and maybe we'll do a big, like, blurb on Lily one of these days, but... For right now, just take my word for it. This horse weaves when tied, and I worry about her at shows because I'm like, if you're gonna weave and freak out and not eat your food and not drink your water, like, how am I gonna travel with you? I don't want you to have that kind of stress in your life. Like, what is up? Oh, that's such a nice filly. I'm actually going to ditch my clicker because she does know a tongue bridge signal. I was just trying to make it clear for her, but she's so smart. It's really not necessary. And it's very hard to actually click that with these gloves on. So here we go, everybody. So you'll notice she really doesn't do it when I'm standing next to her. It's like when I'm over diddling with the camera and stuff. Um, I do have this target hung here. Oh, poor girl. <laughs> so I said that for That was amazing. Like I said, she's so smart. We've only worked on this once, target. And uh, she remembers. I didn't think she would remember. So <laughs> I said the word. So this is something I thought of to kind of keep her tied here and give her something else to focus on. Target. Target. <laughs> now we're going to go back to grooming a little bit. I know. Yeah, you're not going to get one every time unless I ask, you know. You're such a smart girl. You're so smart. <laughs> Target. Not the rope part. Target. So my criteria is very clear. Touch the rubber, not the rope. Target. And uh, target. Sometimes it's hard to see perfectly, but. <laughs> You're the funniest girl.
We're done with the gloves. Moving on with my homemade sea keys. Target. Target. Good girl. <laughs> no, Lily. Good. Oh. Very good. Target. Oh, that didn't look good. Target. I think it's just an excited thing, like. <laughs> fancy, so fancy. Target. Lily. Target. Good girl. Philly. All right, shall we get a math? Boy, oh, that's a good one.
keep going. Keep riding. Sit up. Go, go, go. Now go. Go. Okay, hi again. Um, I know we haven't talked for a bit. <laughs> I just finished with Maverick. It's dark out now, as you can see through the door there. Um, so we got in a bit of a race with time. I finished riding Maverick. Um, he's sweaty. He worked hard. I'm going to put a cooler on him and put him in a stall with a bucket of water and feed him his supplements separate um, and probably work with another horse. So today's ride, he had to go a little longer. He was being really good his rider. I'm going to bring you along to mix his feet and just throw a cooler on him and then I guess talk about other stuff right now. So before anyone has a conniption about feeding horses too close to exercise, um, I cold Maverick out for 15 minutes of riding. Brought him in here, untacked him, groomed him, and then I picked out his feet and put in some zinc oxide to provide moisture barrier and prevent thrush. And now I'm gonna put him in the stall and then I'm gonna walk up, mix his feed, walk back and feed him. So I'm not giving him concentrates immediately after riding, which you shouldn't do with your horse. Uh, so yeah, I just thought I'd add that in. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Flash? Wanna go for a ride? <laughs> Says Diamond, get out of my way. Okay, we're back. We have a very excited map. We've got his food. I'm gonna tie Flash first. We need more hands, Flash. There's a flash. Oh, so handsome. And a map. And a food. Okay. Moment. The map's been waiting for. Alright. Now we're going to get this beast ready. Probably sweep this disaster. And I run.
handsome. Okay, everyone. So I filmed Mavs ride with the picks him, um, which is my robot cameraman, and we got a bit of drone footage of him. I'm just about to ride flash now. We're not doing anything too exciting in the indoor. And I know a lot of people are interested in like the training and stuff, so I'm going to try to do a series on specific things. Um, sorry about the do. Helmet hair, you know. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to film anything we're going to be doing. I'm breaking in his new saddle, um, which is one of the saddles for my Christmas tackle, I guess. That'll be probably it for today's vlog because it's super dark outside with the other horses. Um, Mav's just in here eating some hay bag. Yeah, so I think going forward I'm going to try to make the vlogs like a little more talking, getting to know everyone's personalities, horses' personalities. You know, talking about things, figuring things out. And then I'm going to do like specific like diamond training videos, Mav's like reconditioning and jump training videos. And kind of break them all up because people seem to like long vlogs but then when i post long vlogs no one watches them so i'm kind of confused by that so if you want to let me know in the comments what kind of things you want to see um that would be helpful a lot of people say they want to see the training but when i post longer vlogs that have training stuff in them it doesn't seem like anyone's watching them so i'm gonna try to separate things more more personality less edits unless they're just edits so there won't be a ton of riding in the vlogs. All the riding from the vlogs will be put in its specific categories like training and doing stuff. So I think that's kind of the best idea going forward. But let me know what you think down below. Maybe that's not the best idea. Anyway, I'm going to go ride some more and then probably go home for dinner.